So this video is about design pattern in Laravel. So if you are familiar, familiar with a Laravel, then you must know that Laravel is the best of MVC, that is model of view controller. That is we manage a file rather than a spaghetti code to a much more well mannered and well designed and maintained code in a MVC form that is model view controller where we will be putting logic to one part, database related file to one part and views that is resources the client see to the another file. So we separate a, a bunch of code to a separate file to manage our application easily. But there is another way that is an advanced way when you are doing, building a complicated large scale project in Laravel. Even MBC is not enough. For example, this is a basic store function in Laravel where all the code is written inside a single function. And what we are doing is we are just rewriting it uh, with a session message. Then here, as you can see, we have everything is written inside this one function and if you need to change like a query or add any function here we need to directly change this store function so so on a term of scalability it's not scalable so also it's hard to manage so let's say inside store function we need we need to calculate calculate something we need to find something uh, we need to query one thing then another query another thing so we cannot just write everything in here and make this single function like 400 or 500 600 lines so rather than that when we are working on a large scale application what we can do is we can use a design pattern so in laravel we have a multiple design pattern for example we have a builder pattern Factory pattern, strategy pattern, provider pattern, repository pattern, and facade pattern. So, based on your requirement and uh, and our culture of your company, because different company use different different uh, pattern or code structure in their office, a company. So, but mostly in most company, we use repository pattern, which is uh, much uh, easier and easy to maintain than another pattern I use by experience so most of a company know I know it uses repository pattern which is famous by far any of this pattern so let's talk about repository pattern so we, we know that we found out that why we need a repository pattern because we don't want to put a like 400 or 600 line of code in just a single function so in order to write a various function like inside this here uh, we can we're gonna divide this code to a multiple file so it should be scalable and easy to manage so first of all what we need to do is go into app app folder then create a repository folder repositories folder so this is a basic uh, naming convention so inside app create a repository function uh, folder then inside repositories create interfaces function sorry folder so inside repository create a repository file so in here i'm creating a social repository so here define a namespace so if you are not familiar with the namespace in laravel or psp follow my op video in psp so inside here we are defining a social repository this class name and in inside interfaces folder create a, another file called social repository interface so inside social repository interface also define a namespace then the interface this is a keyword it should be interface and interface and then give it a name and define a function that is the function you want to name for example i want to i want to use the test function here so if you if if this is a test if this is a this do test for example this say uh, this is a test function inside there so rather than uh, using this uh, chunk of code we're going to define a new function and put this code in here so inside repository interface and social 
interfaces define a function so for example test so define a we define a function test now go to repository inside repository folder and in here the body of a body of a function that we just defined in an interface will be in here as function in test and we're gonna uh, return this working test repository so what you need to remember note here is that we need to implement this social repository to social repository interface that is this file inside interface so here use app repository interface and social repository interface so implement this one then after that what we need to do is uh, inside provider function provider folder open app service provider and here use this command like uh, this we're gonna this app and bind this what we're gonna bind this social repository interface as a class and social repository as a class that is these two files we have just created like social repository interface and social repository so we are gonna we are creating a file for this social uh, link controller so so inside social link controller now what we need to do is uh, we, we need to define a constructor and let's define a constructor first define a variable called private variable social repository then define a constructor with this public construct construct and then social repository interface which will import this by just defining here and call this variable we just defined that is social repository now we're gonna need to use this social repository is equal to dollar this this social repository keyword uh, sorry variable now we have a function uh, called uh, reference public test test and uh, sorry let's call it uh, index uh, my name my name function and in in my name there will be a lot of function like uh, for for calculation for uh, measurement for google maps uh, salary payroll So it can be anything like we have a function, we have a route, let's, we have this, uh, this is the dummy route, I just created social test and it's gonna create, uh, it's gonna call a function, my name. Uh, my name, here, my name. So we have a route that is social test and what is does is it will call a function of social link controller file and the uh, file name is my name. So let's go to that file. Now here this my name file, my name function has a multiple tasks that is is to do a calculation, is to do a measurement, is to do a Google map, is to do a salary, payroll calculation. So for that we can do a we can define a multiple this kind of action as our requirement so in forward for now we have defined a test function in our interface so in our interface we have a test function so let's use that so go to our social controller and this this social repository repository and in social repository function name is test that is in social repository function name is test so now let's call if we call this route it's gonna go to social and this go through this interface and their file and the function and the function body of a function which is on this social repository so when you call that uh, route it's gonna show this output so let's go to our browser and then working test repository so this test repository is coming from here so as this we can define a multiple function like for salary 
salary and we can just go here and copy this and let's call it a uh, salary working salary so now if we need to use this function we just created in our controller what we going to what i have to do is just copy this so so this so so repository and the function name is salary salary this is for salary now this uh die dump here sorry salary now let's go to our browser as you can see working salary function so this is how we create a repository pattern use repository pattern in laravel so the basic example is inside of any function we, ma we might have multiple tasks like for example calculation measurement google map salary but rather than putting all the code inside of one function and make it in long like a 400 or 500 page what we can do is we can use a, a repository pattern in where we use interface and then a uh, function body in a repository and then we can just simply call here this this thing and our controller is short and is it a maintain for example if you need to change in test what we can do is just go to repository and this test function and we can change anything here like it, it can be like 100 times 100 lines of code or anything but our controller will be easy at you know few lines and well maintained and it will be easy to change like it doesn't it will be scalable uh, it will be uh, easy to work on a big project using this pattern so now uh, for a quick reminder what we did is we created a repository folder inside the app repository and inside there we created an interface in interface we define an interface Interface is a place where you define a function function name and where uh, we're going to use. So here we just create a function name and the body will be in repository file that is in inside repository folder. So after doing that, we need to register it in our app service provider inside register as this app bind and then so so this first you call first you call interface class then you call repository class. So this is how we use. Repository pattern in Laravel. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like my video and content, and do support me, which will motivate me to make more videos. Please subscribe the channel, like and subscribe. Have a good day.